you not want to jump in and get, get in the propaganda thing and and answer well, the Soviets the, to the public? Yes, the answer to the to that is not propaganda; it's public relations. There is no question. Their goal is that whatever they do, they do not want us to implement the plan of placing even one of those missiles in European soil. Mr. President, do you wish now in hindsight that you hadn't started out with such a very tough rhetorical line about the Russians? Uh, in the last two years, I think many observers think that you've been in a push-pull situation one day as uh, at, uh, in London, talking about a crusade for freedom, the next day as in Bonn, talking about accommodation of the Soviet Union. And just this morning, the Soviets are saying that uh, they will break off the arms negotiations if we go ahead with our uh, missile deployment in Europe. Where do we stand there with the Soviets? Well, Sam, let me, let me jog your memories a bit. In that first press conference across the street, uh, the question that was asked of me was with regard to my personal trust in the Soviet Union. That did I trust and believe in the Soviet Union? And I did not render as an opinion of mine the things that I said about them. My reply, if you want to go back and look it up, was that this is what they said of themselves, that they reserved these rights to uh, break a promise, to change uh, their ways, to uh, be dishonest and so forth, if it furthered the cause of socialism. Now, just the other day, uh, one among you somewhere has written and uh, commented on, on that and has quoted the Ten Commandments of Nikolai Lenin that he, uh, he printed as the Ten Principles, Guiding Principles of Communism. And they're all there that uh, promises are like pie crusts made to be broken. And he went right on down the line that you, uh, that the Soviet Union considered the, and I used this, I quoted this uh, two years ago. He said that uh, the Soviet Union uh, believed that the only morality was that which furthered the cause of world socialism that they recognized no other immorality. No, and I said I'd recognize Could Leslie and Doug. What? Could I have a follow-up on that? Yeah. Because I asked that question, and the question roughly was, Mr. President, uh, do you think the Soviets really want a true detente, or are they act after world domination? What do you think their goal well, I is? I thought there was something in there about Excuse trust. Me. Two years later, sir, what is your assessment now? What? What would you say today to that question? We're going to continue because we believe that the Soviet Union has some problems of their own that have to be resolved. And uh, in these negotiations that are going on, we think that it would be in their interest as well as ours. That's why we are so hopeful and optimistic that something can be gained here, that they cannot go on down the road they're going uh, in a perpetual arms race. And so we have, uh, this is, this is one of the things in connection with our own arms race. It gives us a leverage that has brought them to the table in the first place. Now, we know that the thing they don't want above all is the placement of a deterrent to their SS-20 missiles in Europe. And we claim that the to s s continue to stand there with them having enough warheads to literally wipe out every population center in Western Europe with no deterrent on our side. And the NATO allies recognize this. And we have said, with their, uh, at their request, that we will provide a deterrent. But we have said it would make a lot more sense if we simply, rather than two sides facing each other there with these missiles poised at each other, if we simply went to a zero option. Now, uh, they've agreed halfway with that. They want us to remain at zero. Uh, and they're willing to trim a few of their warheads, if, if we will. Leslie and... I have two questions. One is, you seem to be saying that you do not trust the Russians at the negotiating table. I mean, uh, th are you saying that no. you... Uh, no, no, at the negotiating table, they've got to make proposals, which we can then counter, and we keep on negotiating. This is a little bit like haggling over the price. Crust. What? I mean, the pie crust. You're saying well, that they make promises that you can't Ah, but now, this is why the most important part in arms negotiations 
uh, from our side must be verifiable. We must both agree to the right of each side to verify that the other is doing what it said. Right. My second, so you, you, there is some trust that you can build into this. Is there any flexibility in your zero zero proposal? Leslie, if I, the trouble is, if I answer that, then I'm getting into what I said I wouldn't talk about the other day. You can't, you can't talk openly about strategy or tactics. We have said, and we stick to, we have said that we believe the best solution for both of us is zero, zero, both sides. But we have said we also, we will listen to and negotiate uh, any fair proposals that are made. This is beyond negotiating at the table. It's become a public relations propaganda campaign that the Russians are, are waging in Europe. Um, do you not want to jump in and get, get in the propaganda thing and, and answer well, the Soviets the, to the public? Yes, the answer to, the, to that is not propaganda, it's public relations. There is no question. Their goal is that whatever they do, they do not want us to implement the plan of placing even one of those missiles in European soil. And um, we are just as determined that uh, we are going to stay on schedule with that. And when I say it's public relations on our part, it requires us to remind those people that are hearing this propaganda both here and in Europe that what the Soviet Union is demanding is the right to maintain enough intermediate range nu nuclear warheads to literally, as I say, hit every population center in Europe, but they don't want a single weapon of a deterrent nature to be there on the other side. And when the people realize that, I think the people living in those population centers are going to have something to say. Uh,